The world is full of wild conspiracy theories, so much so that we couldn't just limit ourselves to one list. Harvard study in China says that fluoride lowers children's IQ by seven points. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 conspiracy theories. When you connect the dots between apparently unconnected people and, and situations and organizations, that's when the tapestry appears and you go, whoa. For this list, we're looking at hypotheses and theories that suggest people have hidden or brought about a certain event or situation that is usually against the law or destructive to others. And obviously everyone wondered if he had actually seen God. If you don't see a theory you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our videos of the top 10 conspiracy theories of all time and the top 10 crazy conspiracy theories. Donaldson believes that as the plane climbs toward 14,000 feet, the men below have already locked the heat-seeking weapons. Number 10. Hitler lived out the rest of his life in Argentina. It became pretty obvious that the death in the bunker was nothing but, well, fiction. Or maybe somebody died in the bunker, but it wasn't Adolf Hitler. A number of conspiracy theories are attached to famous figures in history, and Adolf Hitler is no different. With the Allies closing in and the war all but over, Hitler committed suicide in his bunker with his wife, Eva Braun. British authors Simon Dunstan and Gerard Williams have a different theory about Hitler's end, however. They believe that the Fuhrer didn't actually kill himself, but rather escaped to Argentina, and body doubles were shot instead. According to their book, Grey Wolf, The Escape of Adolf Hitler, the married couple settled down and had two daughters in South America before dying in 1962. This was during 1947. This idea has been widely dismissed by historians, though, who claim that the theory has no substance. We got to the age of information when the truth should be out there, so let's get it out. That's what we're trying to do. Number nine, Josef Mengele and the land of the twins. But he never, never looked nobody in his eyes. From one Nazi to another, Josef Mengele, also known as the angel of death, was assigned the task of discovering how twins were produced in the hopes that this information could increase the Aryan birth rate. These are all identical twins used for medical experiment. Hundreds of twins from all over Europe were brought to this camp. They were numbered, but their origin and even their names are unknown. According to one theory, Mengele was successful, just not in Germany. He was said to have fled to Canjiro Godoy, a small town in Brazil near the end of the war, and continued to visit it in the 60s. This is the same town that has seen as many as one in five pregnancies result in twins. In fact, the town's official crest has a road sign that welcomes visitors to the land of the twins. Historians dispute the idea that Mengele ever actually experimented with twins there, while geneticists believe biological factors explain the twin phenomenon. In all, Mengele murdered 3,000 twins. Some after chemicals were injected directly into their eyeballs. His aim? To turn the color of eyes from inferior brown to Aryan blue. Number eight, lost cosmonauts. Are you from another planet? It's Gagarin. Gagarin went into space. Yuri Gagarin was the first human to journey to outer space. Or was he? According to the lost or phantom cosmonauts conspiracy theory, Gagarin was the first human to survive the journey, but he was not the first sent to space. Rumors of lost cosmonauts have been around since at least 1965. Allegedly, the Soviet Union launched at least two unsuccessful manned space flights before Gagarin's. However, any information about these flights was concealed from the public because of the ongoing Cold War. Though most of the state's formerly restricted information has become available since the collapse of the USSR, there has been little uncovered to support this particular theory. While the lost cosmonaut theory itself may not hold up to scrutiny, one thing's for sure. When it comes to Soviet Russia, 
There's plenty of stuff they don't want you to know. Number seven, MH370 landed on Diego Garcia. Since the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 on March 8, 2014, there have been a number of theories that have emerged surrounding the incident. Whoever was piloting this aircraft was trying to avoid detection. One theory claims that the plane was headed towards a U.S. military base on Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean, but was shot down by U.S. forces who feared that the plane may have been attempting an attack on the base. While the FBI has disputed those allegations, the lack of an actual explanation for the disappearance means that this theory likely won't go away anytime soon. One thing you learn in any form of accident investigation is you rule nothing out. Number six, Shakespeare didn't write all his plays. Could it be true that the greatest writer in the English language was as fictional as his plays? Did the most famous playwright of all time even exist? Probably yes. But he may not have written all of his plays, at least according to this theory. Some people claim that William Shakespeare was just a pen name used by a number of different writers. I want to thank my actors, who is uh, great, great acting, has um, uh, brought my words to life. Then there are others who believe in the Oxfordian theory of Shakespeare authorship, which claims that the 17th century Earl of Oxford, Edward de Vere, actually wrote what's considered to be the Bard's work. Promise me you'll keep our secret safe that you won't expose Shakespeare. These alternative authorship theories have gained some traction due to the lack of biographical information about Shakespeare's life, but they are generally disregarded among English historians. Number five, water fluoridation for mass mind control. Guys, how do my teeth look? Pretty good? Okay, great. Fluoride in the water might be helping that, but it might also be doing other things. Fluoride helps make human teeth stronger, but some people believe that the government is putting fluoride in drinking water for another reason, to control the population. The Telegraph uh, points out a epidemiological study that was done there. They say fluoride in drinking water may trigger depression and weight gain. In 1954, chemist Charles Elliot Perkins declared that anyone who drinks fluoridated water for over a year will never be the same again, either physically or mentally. An excess of fluoride causes fluorosis, which is the eating away of the enamel on your teeth. This is indicative of what it's doing to your body on a larger scale. During World War II, the Nazis allegedly used fluoridated water to force people in concentration camps into calm submission, or even to sterilize humans. While it's been argued that the Nazi claim is an urban myth, it's also been alleged that water fluoridation was part of a plot to enforce communism in America in the 1950s and 60s. Countries and states are going to continue being on board with fluoridation until someone finds damning evidence that they shouldn't be, which in 70 years, no one has yet found. Number four, world leaders are lizard people, also known as reptilians. In simple terms, there is a predator race which take a reptile, reptilian form. They're feeding off humanity, they've turned humanity into a slave race. Are a bunch of lizards responsible for the 9-11 attacks and the Holocaust? According to one theory, yes. In David Icke's book, The Biggest Secret, he claimed that most world leaders are actually shape-shifting reptilian beings, or have been possessed by them, and use horrific events to promote fear and hatred. I have talked to hundreds and hundreds of people all over the world, I've been to more than 40 countries researching this, um, who have told me the same basic recurring story of seeing people, often in positions of power, but not always, change from a human into a reptilian form and then, and, then, and then go back again. Sometimes it's for a few seconds, sometimes it's for longer. They're also apparently between 7 and 12 feet tall and come from a different planet. What more do you need to know? Number three, global warming is a hoax. It's a statistical anomaly, it's meaningless, and they actually admit this in previous NASA press releases, but they're not announcing that today. One of the most popular and socially relevant theories on our list, this is one where people believe that global warming isn't actually happening. The problem is this thin layer of atmosphere is being thickened by all of the 
global warming pollution that's being put up there. While Al Gore and almost all scientists have provided evidence to the contrary, this theory claims that climate change is a hoax created by the government to keep the public in a state of worry and panic, making them easier to control. According to climate change skeptic Myra Nebel, global warming is a hoax created by the European Union to damage the U.S. economy. Some supporters of this theory also claim that technology is responsible for raising the Earth's temperature, a technology that the government is keeping secret. Some of these alleged emails uh, may actually hold the key uh, or, or actually the clues to prove that uh, the theory of global warming is a huge conspiracy. Number two, advanced knowledge of the Pearl Harbor attack. Beep, boom, boom, beep, boom, get up, get up. The U.S. government has been the target of several conspiracy theories throughout its history, with one of the biggest revolving around Pearl Harbor. FDR certainly did have a motivation to deliberately withhold vital intelligence from Pearl Harbor. This theory suggests that President Franklin Delano Roosevelt knew about the planned Japanese attack in December 1941, but decided not to act because he needed an excuse to get the Americans into the Second World War. To overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. This theory gained some traction because the American public and Congress were overwhelmingly against joining the conflict at the time. But it has largely been dismissed by historians. Everyone who worked on it at the time has said then and since that we simply were not far enough along to read any of these uh, Japanese naval messages for intelligence. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. We got eyewitnesses saying there's missiles coming up from two or three different places. I'm 100% convinced that missiles were fired that night. Notice how Jesus and Mary are clothed. Mirror images of each other. The mind sees what it chooses to see. But if you see creatures from another world, <laughs> it's only the workers having a little fun. Uh, the Rothschild Zionists uh, took control of Israel where, where, where they've uh, been ever since. Number one, new world order. NASA is attempting to implement a new world order using organized religion as a means of controlling the masses. At the core of Project Bluebeam is the establishment of a global New Age religion. The most powerful people in the world might not be lizards, but they may be part of a secret organization, at least according to this conspiracy theory. This world is mine for the taking, make me king as we move toward a new world order. The goal of all of these groups, including the Illuminati, is to create the new world order, an authoritarian government that will rule the world. Large groups of people can be held in check by belief systems given to them by a tiny elite, which keeps the core of knowledge to itself. They allegedly use mind control, social engineering, and fear-based propaganda to manipulate the population and oversee all the important institutions and organizations in the world, such as the United Nations and the World Bank. Who stands above the military, royalty, and above celebrities? They do. Who directs the press, the Fed, and the universities? They do. Do you agree with our list? There's much evidence to support it. Theories. There are theories. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? And what about the processed foods we're already in eating and drinking? For more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. But for many conspiracy theorists, DIA's official explanation will land on deaf ears.